uh, I started this embroidery on my old 1929 chain stitch embroidery and chenille machine, but I decided to finish it up on my treadle sewing machine. Your grandmothers and great grandmothers used to work on these machines and made the most wonderful embroidery. Using a straight stitch, there's a lot of different different varieties of stitches that you can do on a on a treadle, including zigzag satin stitches. This is just a plain straight stitch, and I'm just filling in. I've I've already done some of the darker thread first. And I'm coming back and now I'm putting in my white petals on this lady slipper, which is Minnesota State Flower. And I'll just keep working it and working it until I get it all exactly the way I want it. shadows and stuff in the petals after I get this part done. It's very important to remember that you have to follow the direction of your petals as you do it. If you just went straight with it, it would not have the, have the curve and stuff that you need to have to make it take shape. You have to follow the curves of, the, of your petals. Now I may come back in and do some satin stitching on this one yet. Right now I'm just filling in a little bit. I'm getting my basic, basic petals done. You want to be sure to keep your fingers out of the way. Once you've done it enough, you can get so you know exactly where you can put your fingers without sewing them. Do a little bit of satin stitch here. When my petal turns up, the movement of your hoop is what makes satin stitch. You can see how I'm doing it here. It's going to make that area stand out a little bit more than the rest of it. spot where I want to do some satin stitch. I think that's nice. One thing that's really nice about using a treadle is you can go extremely slow with it if you like. This makes it look like the petals turned up at this one area. Same thing up here. I'm going real slow here so you can see how the movement of my hands is, is making the, the satin stitch. See how that 
satin stitch makes it stand out more. gives your project a lot more depth and realism. There's a few different areas where it ruffles. And I'm going to come back over this again yet and make it fuller and stand make it stand out a little bit more than it does right now. I'm just going to keep going. See how slow I can make the treadle go? I can place my stitches exactly where I want them. I'm just going to work over that a little bit, make it stand out a little bit more. I'm trying to clean up my jagged edges a little bit, which I can do with this stitch too. When I'm done, I'll just come back. more depth that will give to the petal. 